How about Chris Brown? <laughs> Let's get into this, y'all. I'm your pop, culture goddess. And Chris Brown is battling still with his housekeeper. Let's talk. <laughs> Child, Chris Brown, Chris Brown, Chris Brown. He is always in the news. And a lot of times it's not good. But all right, let me get comfortable on this couch and we can't talk about it. So what's the deal with Chris? Okay. Chris demands the trial be pushed in the 71, 71 million dollar battle with the ex-housekeeper over the alleged dog attack. Yes, Chris has demanded the scheduled trial date in the case where his ex-housekeeper claimed his dog viciously attacked her beeples pwned. According to court documents obtained, <laughs> Brown 33 and his lawyers have asked a Los Angeles Superior Court judge to push the trial and the case back to January 3rd. He needs a he needs a later date, I guess, with all the touring and everything he got going on. He ain't got time for this court thing. Brown says his ex housekeeper has yet to identify um, that has yet to been identified by name or serve any other defendants in the case, including the dog his dog breeder. Further, he says that the housekeeper has failed to undergo appropriate medical examinations by an expert of his choosing. The stakes are high with the case as the ex-housekeeper is demanding $71 million in damage over the alleged incident. And keep in mind, Chris is only worth 50. I think he's only worth about 50. So, girl, you try to take all he got and what he get in the future. So, this was reported way back in July of 2021. The housekeeper who used the name Jane Doe, sued Brown over the incident. She said Brown's dog attacked her on December 12, 2020 at the Singer's Mansion in Tarzana, California. Jane Doe says she wasn't informed that the singer had large, vicious killer attack dogs on the property. One of the dogs was Brown's um, shepherd dog named Hayes. Now, I don't know about you, but Hayes is for hell, and that don't sound good for no dog name. Jane said Brown allowed this dog to roam around with a leash. Well, isn't that how it's supposed to be roaming around with a leash? But I guess she might mean that the dog was roaming around with, on a leash, but nobody was walking it. Like, it was just roaming with a leash on. The employee said she went to empty the trash outside when the dog came out of nowhere to viciously and brutally attack her. In the suit, Jane said the dog savagely bit her face, y'all. Arm and arms and body. She said the animal ripped out a large chunk of her skin. Jeez. What? Ripped out her skin, y'all? Oh my gosh. Like, this is just not sounding good, y'all. This is just like, that, mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. the housekeeper said she was laying on the floor bleeding, y'all, while attempting to cover her face and her body. Jane said she watches Brown approach her talking on his cell phone. She claimed to have heard him tell his security guards to remove the animal from the property. Damn, Chris, you ain't even say, you ain't even rush over to say, I'm sorry, like, I'll, well, I guess sorry when you say sorry is the admission of guilt, so she can't say that. But damn, ask how she doing. Like, show some urgency. But then again, this is just one side of the story. So, mm, I'm going to hold my opinion and just deliver the tea, okay? <laughs> so, Doe, Jane Doe says she feared her life was over, y'all. She said Brown owes her tens of millions for her emotional and mental distress along with the medical expenses. In response, Brown said the housekeeper had mistreated Hayes and caused their own injuries. Oh, no, he didn't. 
Did he really say that she caused her own injuries? How? Child. Oh, brown, brown, brown. So Chris argued Jane Doe's injuries were caused by her own misconduct and that she voluntarily teased, abused, and mistreated a dog and thereby provoked the attack. The singer denied all allegations of wrongdoing. His lawyer wrote, Jane Doe invited the injuries now complained of and assumed the risk of them with full knowledge of the magnitude of that risk and that she knew her foregoing conduct might cause a dog to attack her and seriously injure her, both of which events are alleged to have occurred. The case is ongoing. Child, let me tell you something. If you got an animal that's bigger than a chihuahua that is capable of doing damage to people, put your dogs up. Save yourself some trouble. Everybody say they dogs is a good dog until it happens, okay? How many incidents do we hear about on the news about dogs doing ish, okay? Now, if she was doing what she was doing, she still did not deserve to be attacked. The dog should not be out and about when the housekeeper or other people are around. Now everybody is friendly with dogs, y'all. Child, but that's just my opinion. Mm, mm, mm. Oh, and I all oh, make sure I put it down allegedly, and this is all for entertainment. But y'all comment below, please. And let me know your thoughts on this situation. Should I mean, I mean, do you think she deserves uh, like some coins, like a, a million or two million you know, dollars in worth in coins? Or does she deserve the whole 71 million? What's y'all opinion? And are you tired of hearing Chris Brown up in the news and it don't be for something positive? Child, I'll tell you. On that note, I'm out. Comment below. Bye. <laughs>